What's going on guys? Back at you guys with another sparring session. This time it's Sambo style sparring. A little bit of kickboxing. Um, also takedowns are allowed. Here with Akka. As you see we're going back and forth. Uh, Akka is a small guy. He's you know, uh, maybe 135-140 pounds at, oh, at his heaviest. So for me here I'm not always as wor much worried about his punching power. But what I do have to be mindful of is the speed. And you see me, my movement there, able, I'm, land, I'm able to land a left uh, uppercut uh, that catches him pretty clean. Um, he's very quick, uh, but he's also very explosive there. You see I'm able to catch a takedown uh, and throw him down. Uh, with Sambo, Sambo has kind of like the best, I would say, MMA uh, preparation of any martial art because there are takedowns, there are... Uh, ground submissions and there is striking in uh, combat sambo. Um, there, you see Aka trying to land a you know a couple flashy kicks. I'm able to defend those and um, throw a couple shots. I land those clean. I make sure here I'm keeping my hands up again because I don't have the headgear on. I'm more tentative. I'm less tentative and I'm focused on making sure I'm defending. Uh, but. What you'll find it, it, when you have Russian training partners is that they can be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and they do have stuff you'll be mindful of with Akka because he's a little bit mindful of my size and power. He is more willing to throw kind of power shots uh, when we're training together. Here you see, boom, I'm able to I land the right hand pretty clean. Uh, but he's still coming back. These guys, the, they're not the type to back down there. I try to throw a sidekick. Um... Uh, here you see I kind of do the the Jenga uh, because I know the movements are kind of going to throw people off there. I'm able to push a little bit more, throw a couple more shots. Uh, and again, when with my training partners, because a lot of them are smaller, I'm not throwing as much power into my shots as I can. Uh, there you see, even I, though I dropped the right, uh, it wasn't as much power on it, but I know Aka's going to feel it. He's trying to come back with a couple overhands um, for him. Again, he's trying to use his speed, but I'm able to kind of stay on the outside because I've got the size advantage, the length advantage here. Boom. Trying to throw a couple more strikes. Not as much worried about keeping my hands up because I know with Akka, he's not going to, you know, knock me out, which is a, a bad habit, I will say. That's not something I want to keep in mind there. I'm able to land a clean one, two, and then kind of get out of the way of his kicks. Making sure I'm keeping my, uh, just defending the shots. Even if it's not keeping my hands up, just making sure I'm checking these shots. I'm not getting caught with uh, clean, heavy shots. He did a good job of landing side kicks and everything. And then the round uh, ends. But I would definitely say this was a good round. Uh, and thank you guys again for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed.